baddies, it's your girl Sham, and I'm back with another video. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you could be a baddie too. Back with another special guest. It'd be the same, like, <laughs> it's me again. <laughs> so, um, we are going to be doing yet another snack crate review. So, if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. You got me, you got me, got, got me, got me, twisted. You got me, you got me, got, got me, got me, twisted. All right, this is our last one. I know, this is so bad. It's gonna be interesting though. Okay. Cause I know what it is. Okay. Oh, I was gonna rewash my hands. Drum roll, please. All right, this is our last box. <laughs> Israel or Palestine. No, they're two separate. I had to do a research paper on it. And it's a long story. The two have been kind of like flip-flopping. Right. And then like some of it becomes one and some of it like, it's an ever ongoing thing. All right. Well, Israel, <laughs> the box is cute. The Oh, the little packaging, yeah. yeah. Very good. <laughs> Israel is the only country in the world that has more trees today than it had 50 years ago. Good for them. They're putting up trees. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile. Got to be. Everybody's cutting them down. Okay. Oh, did I look at these? Yeah, I did. Okay. You want to read a fun fact? Okay, let's see. Coffee and cafes are so good in Israel that it's the only country where Starbucks failed trying to break into the local market. Well, That's crazy if you ask keep me. Keep the gentrification out your country. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Boop! <laughs> and they <Okay>. oop. Okay. <laughs> oh, it says use our Israeli playlist to get a true spec of this music's musical culture. Or this country's musical culture. That's fun. Ooh. I'm gonna keep this then. Oh, did the other boxes mm -hmm. have that? No, they just came wrapped in the paper. Oh, and it says Shalom on it. Look at it. Isn't that mm. so sweet? Okay, okay we're gonna keep that. So I'm gonna do the chocolate stuff first. A lot of this is chocolate. Okay, go ahead, have at it. Okay, so first. I'll just read whatever you eat. I'm doing the chocolate coins. Okay, chocolate coins. These the sweetest currency you can find. These foil wrapped chocolates are traditional gift during Hanukkah. Um, we when, have chocolate coins in the U.S. Yes. I wonder what the difference would be. I don't know. I remember. Um, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> okay, Keisha. Keisha Cole. I remember um, when we were at um, in elementary school. Did you show the menorah on the back? Mm-hmm. Oh. I showed them that first. Um, in elementary school, we had a lot of uh, Jewish kids, and I'm pretty sure these were passed out. Okay. Yeah, we had a large Jewish population. So I've tried some things. Oh, and it's the same little oh, that's cute. pattern on the inside. She playing with it like she gonna eat it. Right. A <laughs> and boat it's the same on thing one. on the that I can't. I don't know what that is or what it says. Oh yeah. Hmm. Is it good chocolate? Mm-hmm. It's better than the ones in the U.S. The ones in the U.S. taste like old chocolate. Hmm. That kind of gives me a um. A Hershey's Kiss, but not as sweet. Okay. Um, what's the Choco Kid? The smell. Okay. <laughs> a lot of this is chocolate. Uh, like a lot of this stuff is chocolate. It's all good. So coffee. I'll, take your, I'll <laughs> take your word for it. Is this chocolate? Okay, so we're just gonna get all the chocolate stuff out of the way. I'm gonna do the chocolate log next. 
chocolate log. These milk chocolate bars are made using a special technique that gives them the appearance of a real wooden log. Ooh, they did that's that. fun. Actually, if you kind of look at it, it kind of freaks me out. I'm screaming. I'm very like, oh yeah, it, yeah. I um, like, mm, yeah. Makes my flesh crawl for some reason. But it's cool. I wonder what the special technique is. Technique. Technique. Oh, okay. How is it? It's decent. Mm -hmm. It's um giving me Milky Way chocolate vibes. Okay. Like the... You know the stuff that's on the inside of the Milky Way? Mm -hmm. The nougat. Is it nougat? Mm -hmm. It's not nougat. It's, it's something that brown else. stuff. Yeah. That's like... Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. And it's really soft. I actually think I like the chocolate coin better. Oh, did I break the chocolate coin? I would give the chocolate coin a four. Cause it was good. It was sweet, but not too sweet. Cause I actually don't really like milk chocolate anymore. I like dark chocolate cause milk chocolate is too sweet. So it was sweet, but not too sweet. The chocolate log, I'm gonna give it three because the sweetness is definitely upped. And it reminds me of like a Milky Way. Okay, I'm gonna do this next. The milk truffle. Where is it? I just saw it. It's about right on that, right there. Oh. Click in milk cream, a sweet, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, a sweet crispy bar filled with a decadent creamy milk, then coated with a generous layer of white and milk chocolate. Ooh. I don't like white chocolate. That's up my alley. You wanna try some? No. <laughs> Too much chocolate for me. You can't have that. That's hazelnut. Mm hmm I'm gonna give this one a two. It's too sweet. For me personally, it's, oh. And I could, it's a, a chocolate kick in the back of my throat. Mm -hmm. That lies on, mm -mm. Not your tea. Uh-uh. Okay, so we're not gonna try this, cause she doesn't like chocolate. Pazek, and I don't, can't eat nuts. This popular treat features crisp and airy wafers filled with luscious hazelnut cream, then dipped in milk chocolate. Sounds good. I wish I enjoyed chocolate, but it just does not. Click bites. These tasty bite-sized treats are often given to uh, well-behaved Israeli children. But am I reading the wrong one? It's just a different color, I guess. Oh. No, that's it. Well, it's given to well-behaved Israeli children. We've included either carryout oh. cornflake cookie varieties. They're all equally delicious. These are the cornflakes. <laughs> okay. I can see why they would be like for kids. They're like bite-sized and mm -hmm. here, have a handful. You've been good today. You got a hundred on your paper, your homework. No, it's not. Tickling. You know that if you live in the U.S., there's M&M's and then there's the off-brand M&M's. It tastes like the off-brand M&M's, like that type of chocolatey taste, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. I know what you're talking about. These are two. Okay. And I don't really, I kind of taste the cornflake after the fact, mm -hmm. but the chocolate is very strong. Like I say, I can really see why they're for kids. Chocolate wise, the coins were the best. That is, it tastes like the off brand, like chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna have you do these last. Okay. Let's do these.
Fluffy Tuffy, chewy taffies that came in several different tangy fruity flavors. The intense and aromatic flavor sets these candies apart from all of them. So we have three different colors. Blue, purple, and red. <laughs> Which one we're trying first? First of all, strawberry flavor. They all say strawberry. Okay, that's upsetting. Maybe it's something different in the middle. Yeah. I'm gonna do the red. Oh, it's white. And it's powdery. So look at my finger. Oh, it's chewy. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Yeah. I can bite into it a little bit. It's like a lappy tapper. It's chewy once you get through it, mm -hmm. but the first initial bite is hard. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna eat that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not my battery. Okay, let's talk fast. I'm gonna give those a one. Do they all taste like that? Like, I think so. They're all you have another battery? Yeah, I do. No. This is my flavor. Okay. That's what's better. It is. I was hoping for something else. A variety. Yeah. They taste like lots of Texture wise, they're too, too thick and too chewy. A two. One and a half. One. Okay. Let me change my battery. Okay. Next. Ooh, that stuff made my teeth hurt. You got it didn't chew it to it. Okay. Let's try this. Torah oodles. Oodles. These sweet, tiny, ball-shaped fruit chews are popular throughout Israel. We've included a few of our favorite flavors for you to try. What is this supposed to mean? Fruit shoes. They're tiny. They're almost like they look like, like dots. Like nerds. Oh. Nerds. They look like the dots and dick dots. Oh. <laughs> I can see. I don't know. They're nerds. Mm -mm. I don't know. They're chewing. They're better than nerds. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That's cap. These are way better than ours. Mm -hmm. Oh no, wait. Wait. Mm. It started off okay <laughs> with the few I had in my mouth. The texture of them reminds me of something I can't. The texture and the flavor reminds me of something I can't put my finger on. But it's not something that I would eat again. It started off as nerds and then like transitioned into like a laffy taffy type chew. <gasps> no. No. It's some sort of candy that we have in the US that I can't put my finger on. Have you ever tried those sweet tart chews? I feel like, yeah. That's what these taste like. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't like those. That's what these taste like. Oh, there's more chocolate. I'll give it a two. Same. I'll give it a two. Click. 
Choco Kid. Hey. This candy bar is made up of silky milk. Sorry, silky milk chocolate mixed together with crunchy bits of puff rice. This confection's texture is definitely something to call home about. Is that the That's it. I was expecting it to be I wafery looking on the inside and it looks smooth. Ew, it is smooth. Okay. It's not bad. It just, it, whatever the stuff is in the middle, I can't taste. It just tastes like chocolate. And then the stuff in the middle is making it very smooth. Mixed together with crunchy bits of puff rice confections. Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know what's in the middle. There's nothing crunchy. Interesting. In I mean, it's decent. Chocolate wise, mmm. For me, it's a little too sweet. I would give it a three. Like after the, after the coins, I would probably eat that. Then the log, and then the, whatever the uh, the white chocolatey other one was. Actually, I would eat the log first. Then I would eat that because it's a little too too sweet. Whatever that is on the inside. Okay. Are these the, uh, there's more, <laughs> bruh, there's more, more oodles. <laughs> I don't want to try these. <laughs> I was expecting these to be like pop rocks and I'm disappointed that they're not. These are harder. Mm-hmm. They taste the same. Got too much. I don't know. Okay, the green ones taste like green apples. The blue ones taste like. Uh oh. Dang it. This. Still don't like those. Still the same, same um, four. Okay, well this is the last thing that I'm gonna be able to try. We got two. No, I can't, oh, let's go first. I thought these were the nuts. Mm -hmm. That's over here. Mm. Bisley, Bisley, falafel. It's a taste of Israel's favorite dish in crispy noodle form. These crunchy snacks will satisfy your munchies with their addicting texture. I like they smell like taco meat seasoning. They do. I'm not gonna say what they remind me of right now. It tastes like taco seasoning. And I do like the texture. It's a four for me. Yeah, I'm gonna finish these. I like the texture. They're, they're like really crunchy, but not like overly too crunchy. But if you got a loose tooth or something, you might wanna be smooth. Or I need a root canal. You might wanna be smooth. That was a good one. It tastes like ground beef. Ground beef, taco seasoning. Y'all get the juice. But silly wheat snack. Weedy snacks with a flavor louder than their crunch. With flavors such as barbecue or smoky. These will taste, these will, these will take your taste buds on a zesty trip. Well, we got smoky, unfortunately. I was about to say, I, I'm curious. Yeah. Let me rinse out my mouth from the last one. It 
It's smoky, all right. This is, I wonder what the barbecue tastes like. It's interesting. I like them though. I don't care too, too much for the texture. It's crunchy, but then it starts getting a little grainy the more you chew on it. Or like sandy almost. Mm -hmm. I like them. They wouldn't be, I would prefer these. Same. Same company, same, I think similar idea, but I prefer those better. The smoky is definitely a smoky flavor. I'm curious to know what the um, barbecue. barbecue tastes like. I would give these a three, three and a half. They were close to having this taste like barbecue, but it tastes like smoky. <laughs> it's very, but the, the advertisement is very true. Like it does have a, a loud flavor. Like it's not subtle at all. But it's not overpowering. Exactly. But I would use these over those. And, um, yeah. I don't know. Because, like, some barbecue stuff is, like, hit or miss. All right. Our last. Well, that was your last one. Oh. I'm out. <laughs> okay. Our last one. Bomba Peanut Puffs. A delicious peanut flavored puff corn snack that is highly regarded all over Israel. They melt in your mouth with every bite. I wonder if I can have these. It's, girl, you smell the peanut. It right smells peanut flavored though. Let's look at the thing. Contains oh, ingredients. Ingredients. Have. Peanuts. No. <laughs> no. Try <laughs> <No>. it. <laughs> Contains peanuts. May contain soy. No. And there's only a few ingredients. Peanut yeah. butter, corn grits, sunflower oil, and salt. I like me some grits. Oh, this is what it looks like. Put it in the middle square. There you go. Girl. You don't like them? It's like eating, okay, so it's like eating a, a, um, a peanut, like fresh out the, the shell. The shell, I didn't know if it was a shell. It's not a husk, cause that's corn. Straight out the shell, but since it's a puff, it kind of like throws it off. That threw me off. I would give it, Two? Maybe a one. No, let me, let me get one more. It's just like the softness of the puff is throwing me off. I can see how people would like love these. Like, should you I want to smell them. them. Yeah, it's straight up peanut butter. So, um,. Yeah, I don't know. No. It's a two, one and a half, two. What would you give the overall box? Well, you didn't get to try that much no, stuff. No, but what I did try was, um, like the crunchy snack, their snacks were really good. I will give them that, like out of all the boxes that we've tried, they had, that I tried, like the dry snacks, the stuff that weren't sweet. I feel like those were better. Candy wise, not including the chocolates, their candy candy to me wasn't it. No. The taffy was not it. Mm -hmm. the, these things that I was hoping were gonna be Pop Rocks or something similar, not it. Um, chocolate wise, I noticed that Obviously, chocolate must be a big thing over there because it was like five or six things that was just chocolate. Um, I can appreciate the fact that it all didn't taste the same. Right. Because I feel like 
not all the chocolate here tastes the same, but like if it's by Hershey's, tastes the same to me. I'm screaming. It no, it, some of it tastes different. No, no, I'm just kidding. But like if it's by Hershey's and it's a chocolate candy, it's gonna taste the same as a Kit Kat. It's gonna taste the same as a Kiss, and like hmm. so, our chocolate tends to kind of taste the same. Um, with that being said, some of their chocolate is better than others. Some of it was too sweet. Some of it, the texture was just funny. Um, but I do like those chocolate coins. Those were a hit. This I did not like. These little corn puff flakes covered in chocolate. Mm -mm. Overall, I would give the box maybe like a... I was gonna say a two until I ate them chips again, so I'm gonna make it a three. I'll give it a two and a half. Um, kind of so, right, I was gonna say, and that's like, with an ast asterisk, because I don't eat chocolate, obviously. So, but the stuff that I did try was pretty decent, minus these little, if they were, I feel like if they were crunchier, maybe if they were like a- so Nothing are supposed to be crunchy, aren't they? Yeah. So the texture aspect of it was probably missing. Yeah. So like if it was like, cause these are puffs, if it was like a, the skinny Cheetos, I feel like I would enjoy them more. Okay. Yeah, not on this. This was interesting. Yeah. Like the fact that it had, is white and it had a powder in it. Cause most candy in the US is colored. Like if it's supposed to be in a blue wrapper and you open it, it's gonna be blue, not white. And I don't know what the powder was on the outside or right. what that was about. But this was interesting, but it wasn't good. It was very hard. hard. Right, that was the thing about it. It was very much church candy. Like your grandma giving it to you at church because you're hungry or need to shut up. <laughs> I'm kind of interested in their food. I like their dinner, lunch, breakfast, I, you know. I've had food. Well. There's a hummus thing on here. I've had hummus. Okay. Many times, but I don't know if that's like. I know. It might be just in like that, that area. Okay. Eat hummus. I don't know exactly where hummus is from. Okay. But I know, like, is that Middle East? Yeah, I know. Okay. Those cultures eat hummus. Um, I've had um. What have I had? Those potato pancakes. They're not potato pancakes, but they're like potato pancakes. I've had those. Okay. In elementary school. Back when you could anything. back when you could like bring food to elementary school, because now you can't because everybody has some type of um, dietary restriction. Oh yeah, I thought you were gonna say allergies. Because I have allergies, but yeah. now it's like like I can't do gluten. Oh my God, if it has like 10 ounces of water in it, I can't eat that either. And it, well, I can't do red dye number four and it just be like, bro. Like, that's, why, that's why I said dietary restriction. I thought my allergies, allergies was bad, but like some of y'all be, is that yellow dye number 34? Oh no, I can't have that. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm on a tangent about uh, restriction. Well, yeah, people in their dietary restrictions that like, you probably Nine times out of ten, probably made it out. <laughs> we'll probably cut this out, but that's okay. No, I'm gonna keep it because I got something to say. Like, <laughs> people like me got real food allergies and real problems, and some of y'all just want to have fake allergies and fake restrictions. That anyway. <laughs> all right, well, that's all we have for you guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you got to the end of it and you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button also click the bell notification so that you get notified when i post every sunday at 5 p.m follow me on social media at chom the baddest all of my lovely guests social media will be in the description okay so go ahead and click the description there's also a link in there that will lead you to all of my music if you want to check that out and other than that we will see you in the next video bye